Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Bentley Bentayga, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Keeping up with the Joneses could be a tough feat if that proverbial family has a 2021 Bentley Bentayga parked in the driveway. This ultra-luxury SUV offers all the comfort of a leather-filled parlor, plus plenty of tech features, a trio of powerful engine choices, and a ton of cargo space. Supple upholstery, rich wood trims, and real metal accents co-mingle with modern infotainment touchscreens and wireless connectivity features. The Joneses really know how to treat themselves. Apart from the decadent Rolls-Royce Cullinan, other luxury SUVs have a difficult time stacking up to the 2021 Bentley Bentayga in terms of creature comforts. Bentley freshened up the Bentayga styling for 2021 with a more upright grill, new tail lamps, and updated wheel designs. The SUV takes styling cues from the brand's new Continental GT Coupe and Flying Spur sedan. The Bentayga's cabin sees a new 10.9-inch infotainment display, tweaked dashboard styling, Apple CarPlay compatibility, a revised rear seat entertainment system, and a wireless smartphone charging pad. I like the V8 model best, even though the speed's more powerful W12 engine puts more pep in this big SUV step, its price premium over the V8 is substantial. I suggest sticking with the 8-cylinder model and adding some niceties to it, such as the adaptive suspension, the rear seat entertainment system, and the 20-speaker stereo. And choosing the Touring Specification Package will give you a suite of driver assistance features. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8. We're going to do the touring specification. It's an ultra luxury SUV. Uh, the MSRP, they don't put anything like that on pay on websites like this for cars like this. Uh, and doing a little bit of research, seems like the MSRP is somewhere between 160000 183000 I guess it just depends on which trim level you get. And just to remind you, there are two trim levels of Bentley Bentayga. There is the new Bentley Speed, which has a V12 engine, and there's the new Bentley Bentayga V8. So, yeah. Uh, and like I said, the, the V12, if you've got to absolutely have the V12 and you want to pay all the money, that's cool. But I think the V8, for most folks, is going to be adequate. They actually have a whole separate page for the Bentley Bentayga Speed and they've got some photos, so you can see it's it's definitely all about more athleticism. You've got the black leather, the quilted leather, the carbon fiber. It's all about the the raciness and things like that. So if you if you need that, then you probably want the the speed over the V8 model. Okay, so here's the deal. Before we actually get to the uh, Bentley or the uh, the Bentley Bentayga configurator before we actually do our build and spec it out and check all the colors and go through the interior and do all that stuff. We're going to go over the features. Uh, they have a little gallery here. We basically already went through the, the photos. There was only a handful. And surprisingly here they're showing the speed right there on the on the V8 page. Um, but surprisingly, they don't show a picture of the interior, which to me is very surprising. So we're going to go through all the features, the design features, performance features, technology features, check out the accessories, and then we'll jump over to the configurator and we'll do our build, you know, do the build and price of our Bentayga. Okay, what's interesting is that they have, they have a page dedicated to the speed, but then they have this whole paragraph down here on design. So half of what they're saying in design is dedicated to the Bentayga speed, yet they have a whole page for it. We're really concerned with what they're saying up here. So, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's all really the same thing. At the end of the day, uh, the Bentley has a modern design language. Uh, it's got a new exterior. It's exquisitely enhanced cabin. Uh, yeah, it definitely makes a clear statement is what they say. Uh, I guess when you get a vehicle like this, it's all about making some statements. Yeah, you want to get around from point A to B, but it's also about making a statement. Here, they're just talking a little bit more about the exterior of the uh, 2021 Bentley Bentayga, uh, how it has a more vertical front grille, uh, elongated rear design, uh, redesigned rear spoiler. Uh, the side profile is completely refreshed. There's a larger uh, wing vent and things like that. 
so yeah, they've put a lot of effort into refreshing this, and uh, I haven't really paid any attention to the SUVs and vehicles usually in this price point, but the Bentayga is actually very attractive. They actually have a lot to say about the interior. They're still going on about it. Uh, here they're talking about the rear design of the Bentayga. It's dramatically different. I don't remember what the previous generation looks like. Uh, there's new I, at all. There's new tail lamps. Uh, they have a unique 3D jeweled appearance. Uh, they're completely contained within a wider, cleaner tailgate. Uh, there's oval split exhaust tailpipes. Those are down here on each side, so there's kind of quad tipped. And uh, yeah. So here they're just kind of going over the interior now of the new uh, Bentley Bentayga. It's got a state of the art high resolution 10.9 inch touchscreen. Uh, it's very nice in here. Cutting edge feel throughout the cabin, and I, I would certainly agree if, as we watch this little video play. Uh, new steering wheel, door and seat design, that's pretty cool. Optional four seat configuration, uh, really, really nice. Then, of course, they go down here to tell you a little bit about the speed, and then they also talk about how you can add a Mulliner design specification. And I know they're going to talk a little bit about the Mulliner uh, a little bit further down. So, uh, yeah, that, that's going to give us the quilting, the sports seats, all that kind of cool stuff. And I guess that's really a lot uh, which comes standard on the new speed, right? The Mulliner design, I guess, comes standard on the new speed. I guess we could get the Mulliner design. Uh, they seem to be alluding to we can get the Mulliner design on your, on your V8 Bentayga as well. But we'll see. Many manufacturers have a first edition when they come out with new SUVs uh, or new vehicles, and uh, I guess Bentley is no different. Uh, they've got the new Bentayga V8 first edition, uh, and it celebrates the SUV's distinctive design and available for a limited period from launch. Uh, it's got exclusive specification features. Uh, it's got mo most of the desirable options. Uh, yeah, it's got the rare first edition badging. Uh, it's got diamond quilting on the seats, and uh, yeah, that sounds pretty nice. All right, let's talk about the performance. Let's talk about performance features for the 2021 Bentley Bentayga uh, Ultra Luxury SUV. Uh, as we know, uh, we've got uh, two different engine options. I said three in the intro. I really meant two. There's two different engine options. you got a V8 engine. All right, you got the V8 engine. Uh, that does 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, and it has a top speed of 190, or, yeah, 180 miles an hour. And then you've got the V12, which you know is the speed. It does 190 miles an hour, and it does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. What we don't have is any horsepower numbers. How come we don't have any horsepower numbers? This is interesting. Uh, this is what Bentley calls the Bentley Dynamic Ride. Uh, it's electric active roll control system. Mercedes has something like that. I think it's called Magic Body Control. So basically, it, it, it prevents the vehicle from having – it minimizes body roll through through turns and things like that. So you got electric motors apparently in the front and rear axles that can vary the uh, resistance that can give you that minimal body roll and things like that. They say the result of all of this technology – is a ride and handling and uh, and performance that of like a sports car. The body control of a sporting saloon and excellent off-road capability to boot. Here they're talking about the, the braking system of the 2021 Bentley Bentayga. They say that the stopping power is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Uh, and uh, for drivers that will repeatedly push the vehicle to its limits, they offer optional carbon ceramic brakes. For the ultimate stopping performance, carbon ceramic brakes are usually a very expensive upgrade, but uh, they're supposed to be the bee's knees when it comes to maximum brake stopping performance and force. So here, uh, Bentley is talking about their basically the four-wheel drive system and the off-road capabilities of the Bentayga. Uh, there's an all-terrain specification, which adds four additional drive modes called responsive off-road settings, to the already four standard on-road drive modes. And they say that uh, with these modes, uh, that they that, 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 uh, that it covers virtually every terrain in which a Bentega is likely to be driven on. Snow, grass, dirt, gravel, mud, trail, sand. And the driver just simply has to select the most appropriate mode. And there you go. There's also a hill descent control as well. 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. They say in addition to all those settings that the all-terrain specification, I guess they, do they mean package, includes additional underfloor protection, uh, specific uh, screen on the... Uh, I guess there's a specific screen on the infotainment system that displays useful information about the off-road system. Uh, there's a luggage management system that makes sure that uh, items in the in the back are secured, even when traveling, uh, traversing on sand, they say. So your junk's not bouncing all over the place. All right, let's talk about technology. Technology features uh, in the Bentley Bentayga SUV. Uh, they say that it has the very latest in cutting-edge technology. Uh, so let's figure out. They say there are two different uh, sound systems to choose from. There's the Bentley Signature Audio System. That's standard. Uh, and then there's the, I can't really even pronounce the word, Naim. Naim, I'm not really sure. I'm probably butchering it. At, at any rate, there's a higher-end stereo. They go on down here to tell us that uh, they have the latest infotainment system, bringing configurable dynamic graphics, uh, seamless connectivity, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, satellite maps. There's two Type C. Uh, let's see. They say there's, there's media inputs, two Type C connectivity points, and the return of digital TV. They also say that passengers in the rear of the cabin get a new touchscreen remote with improved graphics and more features. Uh, this includes control of the panoramic roof, uh, blind and mood lighting settings. Okay, let's see what other tech features uh, the Bentley Bentega has. They have something called uh, My Bentley Connected Services. This apparently includes uh, an embedded SIM card that makes access to in-car features much simpler, uh, in addition to new services, including online radio, over-the-air updates, stuff like that, Number of uh, which enhances a number of uh, infotainment features. There's also uh, Bentley has an app, like every other manufacturer, that can lock and unlock the car, find your car, stuff like that. Uh, down here they're talking about there's a wireless smartphone charger that's standard and up to six USB Type-C charging points in the vehicle. So that's cool. So here they're obviously showing the heads-up display, which is definitely not the best in the business, mind you. Um, but here's a nice heads-up display. And they're also talking about the comprehensive suite of driver assist features. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's why I said we're going to get the touring specification. We'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, they said the headlamps on the new Bentega are not only visually stunning, they also feature the latest matrix beam technology. There's also automatic adaptive lighting modes to ensure the optimal lighting for any traffic and road condition. Check it out right there. There's the Mulliner, remember? Uh, if you want to personalize your Bentley uh, Bentega, uh, you can be made to match your exact requirements. Uh, there you go. So there's a lot of paint colors. When we get over to the uh, configurator, you'll see there are a ton of paint colors uh, for the 2021 Bentley Bentega. They say, however, that only seven paint colors are available as standard. Right? And you can also make your choice from two new colors that join the exclusive range of optional colors, Patina and Viridian. Patina is a luxurious mid-tone beige, while Viridian, previously only seen on the GT number 9 edition, is a rich, dark shade of spring green. Uh, so, yeah, what else do we have? There is a, a special edition here, too, it seems. So, the black specification, the black line specification, uh, they say dramatically changes the character of the Bentega. Uh, all, the extraordinary, all the bright work... Uh, with the exception of the V8 model badge and all that, becomes black. Um, alternatively, the black specification takes it a step further. You get black trim, new front bumper, carbon fiber uh, things and stuff like that, and 22-inch wheels, black exhaust pipes, and everything. So it's a it's the sporty look. It's the sporty look. Here they're talking more about the Mulliner uh, specification. The Mulliner driving specification, which comes standard on the Bentega Speed. Uh, it adds sophisticated sporting edge. Uh, this includes diamond quilted seats, sport pedals, embroidered Bentley emblems. Uh, your full choice of hide, carpet, and interior color combinations, 22-inch wheels. Uh, yeah, so that's the whole Mulliner specification. Now, it seems, though, you can get the Mulliner specification on your V8 if you so choose. 
more interior information here. Uh, they talk about the beautiful handcrafted veneers. That's your wood. The natural leathers. The detailed stitching options. Uh, they say crown cut walnut is their new standard veneer. Uh, while the rich hued koa is available for the first time in the Bentega. There's high gloss carbon fiber. There's dark tint diamond brushed aluminum. There's burr walnut. There's a lot going on. Here they're talking about how there's a total of 15 hide colors, five of which are standard in the new Bentega V8, and five different color splits. Ensure that no two Bentega interiors will ever be the same. And that's important. Usually when people buy vehicles like this, they want theirs to be very exclusive uh, and unique. So that's going to help with that. Uh, so yeah, you got a lot of decorative contrast stitching, hand cross stitching, embroidered emblems, micro piping, uh, traditional piping. Okay, so it looks like we've gotten through the whole page over all the features and everything. Here, uh, they've got the accessories for the 2021 Bentley Bentega. So let's take a look over there real quick, uh, if we can anyway, if we can. It says explore on the configurator. So I guess maybe what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to jump into the uh, Bentley Bentega configurator and build and price a new Bentega. So let's just get started with that. Okay, so here we are on the Bentley Bentega uh, configurator. And here, before we even get started, it seems like they have th like four pre-configurations here. They've got one here called Cool Slate, Alter Ego, Purple Shade, and Oceana. Oceana, Oceanica, uh, and, or something like that. <laughs> uh, at any rate, if we hit this information button, what they tell us up here at the top is they say that the first step in, in getting a new Bentley is choice, and they offer a lot of it. They said there's an exceptional number of possible combinations as far as exterior colors, wheels, interior trim, veneers, hides, and there is. Uh, and so they say to provide, and so I guess that could be a little overwhelming, I, 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 I suppose. And so they say to provide a little inspiration, the Bentley factory and crew, England, has created a number of configurations demonstrating some of the wonderful combinations. So really what these are is just some example combinations of how you could spec out your Bentley Bentayga. So for instance, this cool slate, they tell you some of the things it has. It's got the Mulliner driving specification. It's got, uh, you know, and they tell you what color uh, stitching it has and the color of the paint that it has and things like that. So I guess we're really looking at these, and we're going to choose one of these that we want to start off with. Now, the Alter Ego, let's start with the, uh, that Alter Ego. The Alter Ego, I don't know, it, it, if I wanted to get one like that, then I guess I'd be going for the speed. To me, the Alter Ego looks too, too speed related. I will be honest that this cool slate is the most appealing to me. I think that I like this Bentley. I do like the speed, don't get me wrong, but I do like this Bentley in its, in its most luxurious spec. And something about Cool Slate kind of looks like that. I mean, Purple Shade, I guess, is, I don't know, there's something about that one that just doesn't strike me. And, and the same with the blue. So here's what I'm going to say. We're going to start off with the whole Cool Slate configuration. And then, well, let's double check that. Here we can see the pictures up top on what the interior might look like. Maybe I might like the Alter Eagle because it does have the carbon fiber. Maybe I, maybe I do like the Alter Eagle. Maybe I do like the Alter Ego. But the, the interior of the Oceanica is nice because you do get the black interior, but not quite the sport of the Alter Ego. However, maybe the paint, maybe the right paint will change the Alter Ego. So... Let's go ahead and uh, configure uh, the alter ego, I think. Let's do that. First thing we have to specify is, is this a left-hand drive car or a right-hand drive car? This is going to be a left-hand drive car. This is going to be a left-hand drive car. And now from there, we can go on to paints. And as you can see, there is an incredible amount of paint choices. Uh, you know, you've got them in, in, in blacks, shades of black, blues, Gold, golds, oranges, and browns. You've got greens, reds and purples, silvers, whites and beiges, and then duo tones by Mulliner. So since this is uh, the alter ego and it seems like it's more of an aggressive look on it, 
I'm thinking I want to check out. Let's start off by checking some of these uh, the black paint colors. You got this anthracite here. Uh, can we change the angle? Yeah, you got the anthracite, which has a little bit too much gray in it for me. You got the anthracite satin by Mulliner. You got this beluga. Now that might now the beluga looks kind of nice. It's got a nice little shine on it. Got the black crystal. I didn't really see much change. I guess there's several shades of black that are going to work for me. The onyx. These are probably going to be hard to see by the eye. Some of these shades. So the specter. We should be able to see the change in specter. Yeah. You see, there's we got some other colors. Here's a storm gray. Right. That's kind of nice. The storm gray. But I think really like that black crystal. So far, I think the black crystal is pretty nice. I'm not really into the blues. I'm not really into the blues. How many of there are? Wow, there's a lot of blues. We're not going to go through all those blues. We've got like a Silver Lake. we got a Windsor Blue. Don't we? Well, maybe we, Thunder. Right, there's a lot of colors. And there's only five that are Portofino. Right, there's only five colors that are supposed to be, um, uh, or five or seven that are uh, standard colors. So who knows how, uh, e how much extra these colors are. So these are a lot of the shades of blues. Definitely not fit. This blue isn't actually bad. Which blue is that? That is the Neptune blue. And that's actually not too bad. Let's see that from around. The Neptune blue is actually not bad. We don't want to look at the interior photos yet. The Neptune blue isn't bad. Let's look at golds, oranges, and browns. Uh, what does the camel look like? Uh, no. No, 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 no. What about bronze? Uh, no. These shades of colors probably aren't going to uh, work for me. Arabica. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering some of these names, but it is what it is. Uh, how about Havana? Nope. Okay. No? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, not going to work for me. How about rose gold? What does rose gold look like? No. Sunburst gold? Mm, no. How about uh, pale, br whatever that is, this color here? No. Uh, here's a Mulliner color called Kamoon. And you know what? I don't think any golds, oranges, and browns are going to work. So far, I still like that onyx is the black. Let's check out the greens. I can almost tell you right now we're out of the greens. Let's see what the apple green looks like. What? No. British Racing Green, number four. No. Uh, how about uh, this Mulliner color? What is this Mulliner color? Not all the Mulliner colors are nice. I think I might be more interested in the Mulliner interior than Mulliner exterior paint choices. I can tell you that right now. Uh, here's a, another shade of green called Bar Barnado. Way too much. How about reds and purples? Reds and purples. Uh, let's. What does this St. James look like? Mm, nah, that's not going to work for me. Uh, here's a Mulliner St. James. They they like they. I don't know what what it is about the Mulliner colors, but I I usually just don't like them. Let's see what the candy red Mulliner looks like. Nah, I just don't really like them. Uh, what's Cricket Ball? What does Cricket Ball possibly look like? Okay, that's Cricket Ball there. Uh, yeah. Uh, dark dragon red two. What does that look like? Nope. That's actually not too bad, but I, it's it's still not better than the black. Here's black velvet. They got that under reds and purples. Uh, it looks like it has some burgundy in that. And then here's burgundy right here. Yeah, definitely got some burgundy in it. The burgundy is nice. The burgundy is actually nice. I bet you the configurator doesn't do the paint color any justice. Uh, let's move on to silvers. I, sometimes I do like silvers. Here's a breeze by Mulliner. Let's see about this one. That one might be all right. Uh, nah, I, just, I don't think I like any of the Mulliner stuff. How about the extreme silver? What does that look like? Eh, no. How about ice? Ice? Eh, it looks. No. How about Hallmark? Hallmark's interesting. How about granite? No. 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 How about silver storm? Looks nice on on paper anyway. Uh, no, maybe with a different change of wheels that might work, but I think there's just too much black. I think that's what it is. Some of these paint colors, a lot of them don't work for me with all the blacked out in, uh, grill stuff. So I guess, I, I guess we're going with this, this configuration because it, it, it has a more aggressive look like a speed, but without the price of a speed. How about this tungsten? What about the tungsten? Eh, how about whites and beiges? Whites and beiges. How about the monocle yellow? What does that look like? Oh, <laughs> No, 
No, no, no, no, no. How about the White Sand by Mulliner? What? That might be all right. Now, that's all right. The White Sand's all right. That's like your diamond white. How about the Special Mangolia? Magnolia? I'm sorry, Magnolia? Mm, no, White Sand by Mulliner. Why do I keep doing these Mulliners? You know I don't like them. Uh, let's see. Julep? There it is, another Mulliner. I think I just go by the names, and some of them just sound good. Uh, how about the Glacier White? How about Glacier White? No. I, I still don't think it's better than the Onyx. I still don't think that it's better than an all-black one. Uh, how about Duo Tones by Mulliner? We're almost out of this. Let's see. I, I really doubt that I'm going to like any of these. But let's, uh, how about the Light Windsor Blue over Windsor Blue? Interesting. It's very Range Rover-like These when you do these split colors. Interesting. Cricket Ball over Black Crystal. I get it. How about uh, this Verdant over White Sand? Interesting. That's Is that green? I think it. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Oops. Yeah, they had to get, get caught up on the color there. How about the orange flame? What's that look like? Wow, looks like a ice cream. What else we got here? Uh, we already did the black crystal over cr uh, cricket ball. How about black crystal over ice, which is more like a black and white? Yeah, that's black and white. That's actually not, that's actually not too bad. Let's try this black sapphire over blue. That's actually nice too. I'm not really into blue cars, but. I have to admit, blue is getting a little more... Uh, I, I like blues more and more and more, but we're not going with them. Okay, so here's the deal. We've gone through a lot of the colors. I was going to start off by not really going through any of them. Uh, this blue is nice, though, isn't it? Eh, that's a little too much, though. It's a little too much. How about the onyx? How about that onyx? All right. We're going to go all onyx, because before I, this, this vehicle left the dealer, it's getting the windows tended. So we got the all onyx... Right, we did all of that, looked at all those fancy paint colors only to go with a basic black. All right, now the next thing we need to do is jump over to wheel selection. And there are a lot of different wheels. Why do I keep going that way? There's a lot of different wheels. So the wheels that are on the vehicle are these uh, black line specification 22 inch wheels. Okay, now it looks like these are, well, most of these are 22-inch wheels. Only these first three over here are 21-inch wheels. I'm not really crazy about the look at any of these wheels. We're going to stick with these black line wheels, but let's just take a look at these wheels. Um, some other ones, just real quick. Just real quick. See what it looks like. Oh, it changes that whole trip. Yeah, so it removes the whole black line specification is the deal. So that's what it really was. It was a black line specification. Here's the Mulliner driving specification. The Mulliner is actually nice. The Mulliner is actually nice. You know what? I think we're going to go with that Mulliner. I think we, I think we needed a little... I think uh, I think it was a little bit too dark. I think it was a little too dark. It was a little too dark. That black line, let's look at it again. The black line, I think it just... You see, all your window trim and all that stuff, it gets, uh, gets black window trim instead of chrome. I think this vehicle looks more attractive in chrome. Right there's that one, and then you've got that. It looks now that looks money. That looks money. I like that. It's the new Bentley Bentayga V8. We've got it in the Mulliner driving specification. So I think yeah, I think we're gonna stay with that. Let's move on to the hides. That's gonna be our interior here. And so you got the color split view, or you've got just what straight hide colors here. And look, we do have diamond quilting, so that's cool. So we got the black. We've got the Onyx interior, or sorry, we got the Onyx exterior. Uh, let's see what colors we got here. We got saddle. Let's look at some of these. We've got the saddle. Is that gonna ever? Yeah, there it is. We got saddle. That looks nice, but I don't really want to have a black and 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 brownish tan car. Uh, I do like them, but uh, let's check out the in blue. I don't. We're not gonna get the blue, but I want to check out the blue. I want to see some of these colors. They're interesting. The blue is very nice. Here's a red called Hot Spur. Uh, we've got the Cricket Ball. We've got Burnt Oak. What does Burnt Oak look like? That's your brown interior there. They got this Brunel. Looks like some shade of gray, perhaps. And then at the end of the day, they've got the black, the Beluga. I know it's boring. I know it's boring, but I want what I want. We're gonna. So far, I just like the black on black. Let's take a look at these color split hides, though. Real fast, interior color split D, right? And what does that mean? What does interior color split, uh, 
color split D mean? All right, I don't really know what that means. Oh, that uh, change does it change up how the configuration is inside the vehicle, or or how does that really work? Oh, it just changes. Yeah, your two tone stuff. All right, we had interior color split D, which is all solid. This one is C right here. This is color split C. Color split B, we got a little more uh, beige. You can see on the doors, it livened up. And then we got color split A, which probably lightens up everything. Yes, it dramatically lightens up everything. So, you know, I think I like that color split D. I think I like that color split D. And then we chose our high color. And I think we're going to go with uh, Beluga. Although maybe the Cricket Ball. The cricket ball looks kind of nice, don't you think? If we wanted to splash this up and do something a little bit different than just your standard black, you got the cricket ball. The problem is, is I don't really like the carbon fiber lay, inlay, veneer. I guess I could always change that veneer. I guess we're going to always change that veneer. You know, I, I st we started off, if you get this, we started off trying to go sport look. And now I've flipped it over to more of a luxury look. You know why? Because that's what this vehicle is really about. It's really about luxury. Uh, and, yeah, the speed is fine, but you don't need all that. You just don't. Uh, let's go to the veneers then. All right, so we have the carbon fiber. Okay, I think we want some wood veneer, though. Uh, yeah, we have the carbon fiber. Here's the burr walnut. Uh, I don't really like the way that looks. Uh, it looks too old world, and it doesn't really match with, the, with, the, uh, with our interior. Then they got this crown cut walnut. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't know. How about the dark stain burl burr walnut? Now that that looks a little bit better. That looks like the old school name burl walnut. Uh, I like that. That looks really good. Just real quick, let's see what this liquid amber looks like. There's liquid amber. That's not going to work. Oh, there's other veneers. There's a piano black. There's a tamo ash. No. Well, there's that ash. I don't think that's very attractive at all. Here's the koa. The koa is actually not bad looking. I still prefer the dark stained burl, burr walnut, uh, though. Here's the dark fiddleback eucalyptus. It's not bad, but it's no dark stained burr walnut, though. I'll tell you that much. So that's going to be our veneer. What's this veneer options thing? Oh, the picnic tables? What about them? Do we need picnic tables? I don't. I don't think we really need picnic tables. I, I really don't. I really don't. Well, maybe, maybe. We'll get the picnic tables. That's for the back seats. Uh, what about interior details here? Uh, we got a lot of stuff here. Seating options, contrast stitching, contrast stitching, and, and seat piping. Uh, so what's this? We got the four-seat comfort specification with rear center console. You can do the five-seat uh, com uh, comfort specification. You can do seven-seat. You can do contrast seat belts. And you can do a front seat comfort specification, which is what? Uh, adds ventilation, massage with six different settings, uh, backrest bolsters, wing comfort, da 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 da. I think I. Uh, da, 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 da. What about the five seat configuration? Five seat configuration seems like the smart way to go. Uh, but I guess it just depends on what kind of family you got going on I and mean, what you're going to do with your vehicle. So I guess maybe for me. The four-seat configuration with the center console in the center, so everybody gets a nice big sort of like a front seat chair. That kind of works for me. Uh, then what else do we have here? We've got contrast stitching. Well, we've got contrast stitching. It looks like uh, what we have is without contrast stitching, and that might be fine, honestly, because I'm not into all that stuff. I'm just not into all that. There's just too many of them. And it's just not that serious to me. You got contrast stitching and seat piping. We don't have any of that. Hand cross uh, stitching. So you can change that if you want it. Emblem stitching. You can go down to that level. You can really drill down. Steering wheel. What does that say? Steering wheel and driving pedals. We have what? The single tone, three spoke, hand trimmed steering wheel. All right. But we don't have the heated one. How about the heated one? Should we get the heated wheel? Let's try for the heated wheel, see how that goes. We might we might like that. So we got the heated steering wheel. Uh, and then we have 
we have the sport pedals because the sport pedals were in the uh, driving specification with the 22 inch wheels that we ditched. So I'm not sure how that's exactly going to work out, but yeah. All right, let's move on to optional equipment. Uh, they got uh, all these other things here. They got the touring specification. Remember, I was talking about the touring specification. That gives you all your, gives you a lot of tech. That gives you all your um, safety features or your driver assist features, uh, heads up display, lane assist, night vision assist, all that good stuff. I think that's pretty cool. What else? They got these other buttons here. There's, there's a couple shots of everything. I think the touring configuration is pretty cool. Definitely don't need the all-terrain specification or the smoker specification. Uh, you got the sunshine specification, and you have a Mulliner driving specification as well. That gives you the driving, the wheels, uh, the pedals, and the gas cap, and all that stuff. So we're going to go with the touring specification, though, however. We're going to go with the touring specification. That's probably going to uh, remove those cool pedals that we had, though. Well, let's go back and check those pedals. No, actually it didn't. Those those pedals are still there. So let's go back to optional equipment. Uh, we got the touring specification, vehicle dynamics, uh, that Bentley dynamic ride. That was that body control and all that. We read about that. We got into that. Uh, do we want that? Yeah, I think we want that. Let's go ahead and do that. So we got that. I don't think we need the carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, and then we got the standard brakes with red calipers. I don't see the red calipers. But let's go ahead and throw the red calipers on there. I think it'll be nice. Can we see them? Yes, we can see them. There they are behind the wheels. Uh, what about exterior? We've got uh, Bentega black line specification, rear privacy glass, acoustic side glass, uh, compact front bumper apron. These are just optional equipment. Uh, there's nothing in here that I think I want. Uh, the rear privacy glass, I'm going to have the whole vehicle tented before I roll out of there. So that's going to get taken care of. Convenience features, what do we have here? We got the illuminated uh, tread plates, though. I do like that. The illuminated door sill, there's nothing wrong with that bad boy right there. So we're definitely going to get that for sure. Okay, so I selected quite a few things here. I got the Mulliner uh, Biometric security uh, safe basically we got that and then we got this Brittling clock the clock with dark mother of pearl face uh, and then you know we got the illuminated uh, tread plates and then we got the LED welcome lamps that that flash down the Bentley uh, logo other stuff down here was a valet key battery charger parking heater Remote control garage door opener. What, that doesn't just come, like, bundled in the car somewhere? Uh, I guess we got to get the garage door opener. And the mood lighting. we got to get the mood lighting as well. 30 colors. Uh, it's all configurable. Uh, let's see. Audio and communication. I remember, I can't pronounce it, but I want that high-end audio system. Right? Uh, so let's do that. It's got 20 speakers. 1,780 watts of power. Let's go ahead and grab that bad boy. They have pay TV. I don't, I don't think we need it, but interesting. Uh, noted. Uh, deep pile over mats to rear and front. Right, so these are basically your mats. Right? Spectacular quality mats. Lamb wood rugs. Maybe we want the lamb wool. Yeah, lamb's wool. In addition to the standard mats. Uh, let's try that out. Let's see what that might look like. Too bad we can't see the change in there, but we're going to assume that it's there. Now we're over here at the accessories. They don't really have much. They got V8 Sports Exhaust. Oh, what? We can get a better exhaust system? Oh, by Acropovic. See, it says Bentley on this one. It says Acropovic. Acropovic also makes the, uh, that, what, that $9,000 sport exhaust you can put on your BMW M5. We're all over that. We're definitely all over that Acropovic exhaust system. There's branded valve caps, right, that just have the Bentley logo kind of thing on them, right? I, I think we could skip that. I, I think we could safely skip that. I think we'll live. Uh, interior car seats. I don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. I'm out of here. Uh, let's see. Heavy-duty floor mats, car covers. I would be interested in things like that. Tire cradles. Because you know what? 
cars like this sometimes sit a lot, right? People that uh, have these cars, right? They got to go out and earn the money for these bad boys, so they're gone, or they're vacationing, or something like that. Uh, I I would be interested in the heavy duty floor mats for the winter, for sure. Uh, what do those look like? There's our heavy duty floor mat, all quilted. I would like to have an indoor car cover and maybe an outdoor car cover. Maybe both, depending on where the vehicle is. Might want to have both. I'll get both. Uh, I don't need a wheel bag or anything like this. What's touring? Oh, this is all your car carries and junk. Wow, those spikes are serious. Put it this way. If it's, so ser- if it's snowing so bad outside, I got to put that on, we're staying in. You know, we're going to stay in. That's that's how that's going to work. All right. So I think we've gone through everything. Let's go over to the summary. Uh, we can download the PDF. That's cool. You know what? Maybe I will. Should I download the PDF? Here's everything that we got. Left-hand drive. Here's all our options and everything. Of course, there's no dollar value there. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I think there's somewhere between 160000 and a hundred and eighty some thousand to start who knows how much this one is uh but yeah uh, i don't think i'm gonna download the pdf it's all good uh so yeah the 2021 bentley bentega v8 uh we've optioned ours quite nicely it's in the touring specification uh we've got the good veneers the good seats we got the it's nice. I think it's quite nice. All we need to really do is tint the windows. On that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Bentley Bentega, Bentega V8 SU, Ultra Luxury SUV helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next